Welcome to the vlog, everybody. We are on a family. Why is yours, like empty? Little. They always are when I get this one. The brown yeah, sugar. Remember you always said that when we first got it? Because they're made with less milk, even though this looks like all milk right now. I don't know. But the espresso's in the bottom, so it needs to mix up. Hi. I just started mm. off my vlog. Uh, thank you for being here today. <laughs> is that away from Princess Diary? Yeah. <laughs> She goes like this. My ponytail looks crazy. Basically, it's the nicest day out today. It's gonna be like 65 degrees. So well, not little... the nicest. It was like 80 last week. Oh yeah, when I wasn't here. But this is the nicest it's been when I've been here. Correct. So so sunny. Brody and I went on the longest walk. You saw I did a little chase bar class action. The sun is making the lighting so weird right now. Yeah, just on a little family Drive. sunny car ride. Bye. <laughs> Back in Max's car because I have no gas and I don't really have time to go get gas right now. So I was like, Max, I'm taking your car because I'm finally going to get this nail fix, which broke and it's been hurting it so short. So yeah, that really needs to be fixed. So hopefully that will be quick and easy. And then Max has no idea, but I plan on surprising him tonight with a little celebration. Cause if you guys heard in like two vlogs ago, I mentioned it, my last Nemecolin vlog. Um, and it was like all over my Instagram when it happened, but Max just signed his first NHL contract with the Flyers and it's just really exciting and of course it happened when I was away at Nemecolin so we couldn't like celebrate the day that it happened but I don't want Max to think that I have like forgotten about him so I know we want to do like a big fancy like Capital Grill type dinner at some point but that's just not happen that hasn't happened yet and so I think I will get our favorite talkative cookie dough like just like something small but just at home and yeah it'll just be special that way and he has been telling me how he wants baked like chocolate cookies cookies the ones that you bake in the oven like every day so I'm like this will be so perfect maybe I can find like decorations I want to cook as dinner so yeah that's to come so after my nail appointment I didn't tell him but I'm gonna go look and see what I can the nail is fixed that was so quick I'm so happy to have 10 nails that are all the same length now but wow I wish every time I got my nails and it was that quick I was probably in and out in like 10 15 minutes that was so nice anyway now we are gonna go to the grocery store I think I'm like do I go to Target go to the grocery store both in case I want like decorations I don't know because we'll see and I'm trying to like solidify in my head what I'm gonna try to make I think I'm gonna do chicken in the air fryer our new fave we've been really into the air fryer I did salmon in there last night and it was so freaking good oh I have to keep salmon we're out and I think I want to do green beans roasted green beans because I learned how to do that from HelloFresh and it was really good so I know I've been missing HelloFresh so much I like can't wait till ours comes this month because I just want it like every day just finding trying to find it like what I'm gonna do on my own is way harder than just cooking with HelloFresh and then I might try to do mashed sweet potatoes I don't know why in my mind like sweet potatoes with green beans would be good I feel like you only ever have that on Thanksgiving but I want it to be like a little bit fancy that's like a little fancy, right? Also, Max deserves an award for like putting up with me this week because the first day of my period was yesterday <laughs> and I have been like evil. I don't know what it is. Sometimes I feel like I'm really sad or I feel like I'm really sad before I get my period and I feel like I'm not normally that moody or maybe I always am that moody during the week. But yesterday, just like everything bothered me. Like I'm, I'm, I'm like not sad, I'm mad. Like everything makes me angry. I feel like I have a very short temper. I'm like easily frustrated. Like Max, yesterday I was talking to him and he couldn't hear me and I was like so frustrated I wanted to cry. And he literally deserves an award. Yesterday, I can't believe I'm exposing myself. We were going to bed and he was like, night Gigi. And I go, good night thorn in my side. <laughs> Cause I was so mad. Like all day I was just mad. I don't know. I'm just moody. I know it's cause of my cycle. But yeah, and then I was like, I hope you know I didn't mean it. I'm just, I'm just moody. I'm like, you're not a thorn in my side. He did so much for me yesterday. Like he went grocery shopping for us. He like brought Brody to daycare. I feel like he got my packages. Like he was doing so much for me yesterday. And I was telling him he was a thorn in my side. What a little brat. <laughs> but yeah. So <laughs> I'm just laughing at how short of my temper is. But I'm gonna go shopping now and not expose how bratty I can be anymore. Okay, I have to talk quick because Max just took out the trash and he's gonna be back any second. But I found our favorite cookies 
and I'm gonna make those. Hopefully those can be more of a surprise. The dinner I just made, let me just show you. I'm gonna film, but I'm like, I just wanna like do this quick. It's seven o'clock. I'm just happy it's still light out when we're eating because it's been so late recently, like eight or nine. But look at how this turned out. Literally when I got home from the grocery, he was fully asleep right here. So I just let him stay asleep and he was like sleeping the whole time I cooked. So he just saw it and he was like, oh my God. So I did some chicken, some mashed sweet potato, some roasted green beans. Like I said, I wish this was HelloFresh, but basically this is like my take on HelloFresh. Like I learned how to do this and this from HelloFresh. This I just Googled. It was like chicken tenders and I just like shook them in a bag with some spices and basically call me a chef. I just thought it would be fun to have a nice little meal. I don't think he knows <laughs> this is a celebration. Probably like part one of a celebration because I'm sure like I said, we'll still do a fancy dinner. Oh, and the only decorations I found were You'll see how that goes. Look who it is! Whoa. Oh! What? Are you surprised? Very. I woke up to a fully cooked meal. <laughs> Are you shocked at me? I really am. Normally you're the cook. No way. Yeah. I feel like normally you are. Yeah, I guess I do sometimes. Or there'll be like moments of time where I get really over cooking and you'll cook more. Oh! Are you playing bath type oasis? My favorite. Guys, look at who's at my feet right now. <laughs> Max knows this playlist is my favorite. Look up Bathtub Oasis on Spotify. It's the best vibes. And this is your sign to make mashed sweet potatoes. They're so good. Foggy time! My favorite thing. Yep. My favorite thing about. Well, you tell me. What's your favorite thing about daylight savings and it staying light later? Uh, everything like that. Yeah. yeah having it light at seven o'clock. Yeah, that's my favorite too. I guess that's everyone's favorite. And it's getting warmer. Mm -hmm. And like, it just makes me feel more awake. Like I can actually cook dinner, any dinner, and take Brody for like a post-dinner walk, which is so Clearly fun. Clearly not me, since I was snoozing when you got home. <laughs> Wait, I, no, I it. didn't, but I was literally gonna show them how I looked in the office. You had a venti cup of coffee, empty. Yeah. Pass out of sleep. You're the only person I know that can do that. Drink a venti iced coffee and knock right out after. Yeah. Like, how do you do that? But I feel it helps me feel more awake. I feel like it being light later, you know? Like, look at the sunset. It's so pretty. What's your favorite part, Brody? It being light out later? Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. This doesn't even do it justice on camera. It never does. It's so pretty. It's like cotton candy. Okay, you guys. Whoa. All right, I don't want Max to hear, so I'm like whispering. But these are going to cool off for a sec. And I just grabbed this so I could show you. This is what... What am I trying to say? These are the best. I have a chocolate chip cookies. They're our favorite. If you see these ones, make sure it's the 12 big ones. Chocolate chip lovers. So good, you guys. These are the best chocolate chip cookies ever. I'm gonna throw some candles in there. But they're gonna cool for a sec. And right now we are going to change the sheets on our bed. Hi. I didn't know if you'd be done already. How are we supposed to put new sheets on with you on the bed? <laughs> Montage mode. Oh, but you can't have a little set. Oh, <gasps> this is what I was going to show you guys next. <laughs> Look who it is. <laughs> he was literally oh. curled up in a ball under all the blankets for the last minute. I can't believe he just stayed <laughs> curled up in there for so come long. Up the air. I know. Could you breathe under there? Mm -mm. He loves being made into the bed. But, um, yeah, if you guys are wondering, Max's robe, I hope it's staying shut and everything, is from Amazon. It they has a tendency to open up. 
<laughs> well, actually, I don't even know if it's on Amazon. I would assume that it is because we randomly got a package from Amazon one day and we actually got matching ones. This says his and then mine says hers and it's really cute that they sent us matching ones. And I always think they I say, say Mrs. That. and Mrs. Because look at that. If you look at that uh, quick, that looks like Mr. So I don't know because they're just really curly writing. And you know what's weird, you guys, is that I didn't even know that I was expecting a package from Amazon and it came and then I feel like I was having one of those moments where it was like, oh my gosh, Amazon like knows everything about our lives and is like taking over the world. Cause I'm like, how'd they get my address? And then I'm like, actually, I'm sure they could just look in their little system with my name and find my, I mean, or they asked like my management and I used it. You know what I mean? But I just had a moment where I was like, oh my gosh, Amazon's literally taking over the world. But I'm gonna have Max wait in here for a sec so I can go prepare a little surprise. I mean, it's really, it's really little, it's nothing. Crazy, but I just don't want you to see. Okay. okay, I'll be ready in one minute. Okay. You relax in here in your robe. I will. <laughs> Why do you go in here? Did you guys hear that? How Brody just walks right in. He just loves his crate, so we leave the door open all day. Cause he'll just wander in on his own. Your little house, huh, buddy? Okay, guys, here we go. Ready? Okay, I gotta hurry. <laughs> Come in! Quickish. Happy first NHL contract to you. <laughs> what are you doing? Happy first NHL contract to <laughs> you. <laughs> Happy first NHL wow, contract to me. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I got, I got some candles. What? I've been craving these. I know you have. Is this what you expected? I need a something with it. <laughs> a la mode? Yes. Oh, it's literally up on the fridge right now. You put it with yeah. Brody's graduation certificate. Yeah. That's so cute. I was going to say make a wish, but I guess oh. your wish came true, huh? Wait! Did you did you make a wish still? No, it's not my birthday. <laughs> yeah, but if you get candles. Uh, wow. Oh, it smells like a birthday cake. No, that smells like blown out birthday candle. Woo! Are you surprised? Very. Mm. Thank you. I look horrible. No, <laughs> you look great. We look bed. sleepy. I know. It's like 10 30. We're tired, but yeah, I wish I had like decorations, but that's kind of all there was. <laughs> Oh, we'll celebrate more. We'll have like a real celebration. I'm telling them how we know we want to do our, our Capitol Grill dinner. How do we? You love your fancy dinners like that. Yes. Like I feel like I could just as easily eat Chipotle with you and hang out. Are you covering your Perfect. face? But you like the fancy dinners and like top cut and stuff. Yeah, who I doesn't? appreciate it too. Yeah, like who doesn't? So this is our little surprise. Did you like my song? I just came up with one yeah. second ago. <laughs> Mimi, I didn't want you to think I forgot about I you. Because if I was here the day you signed, obviously we would have like, done something that night, but I wasn't here. What did you do that night? Like eat Chipotle? Nothing. <laughs> morning. It's the next morning. I know I was wearing these PJs last night, but I don't think I told you guys about them. They're new. They're from the brand Beyond Yoga, and I just thought they were so cute. They're so comfy. Like, the material is so soft and stretchy. So, yes, loving these. I'm in a very, like, leopardy, pinky, cheetah vibe. But, yeah, I'm going to get my day going. I wanted to show you guys a couple things, like a PR unboxing. Well, I already unboxed it. New PR I've gotten recently if you will, um, because I think it's really exciting. Okay, first thing I want to show you guys, these are so cute. I'm so excited. These recently came in the mail, and these are actually by the brand Bro Denim. If you guys know my denim jackets that have Max's last name and number 20 on it, and then I had one when he played for the Reading Royals. His number was 67. Wow, I almost forgot. Um, but yeah, so I first had that one when he was with Reading, and then I got a new one from Bro Denim when he started with the Phantoms. So yeah, basically, I'm doing a 
horrible job at explaining, but bro denim just as like custom denim jackets, sweatshirts, stuff like that. And I think Max is like really in contact with them. They got these made for me and they're so sweet. So this obviously just says his last name and then there's some stars, obviously orange or well, phantoms and flyers are orange. So I think that's so cute. I love how they have like the custom sweatshirts too and like not just jackets. And then this one is obviously just like a black crew neck, funny Wilman. I think these are so fun. So shout out bro denim. Thank you. I love these. These are amazing. Oh my god, literally, I will like wear this to his next game under the denim jacket. That would be so cute because I love doing sweatshirts like under denim jacket. Now I'm realizing the denim jacket will cover the sleeves and that, so you won't even be able to tell. But um, I could do that without the jacket at the game too and like jeans or something. So these are so cute and so thoughtful and yeah, it's just really fun being able to wear his name. Oh, also, if you couldn't tell, little numbers on the sleeve right there too, which I love. So yeah, if your boyfriend plays a sport and you are thinking about like a denim jacket custom anything with their name number go to bro denim they are incredible all right the next up this is so exciting you guys i actually can't even believe shout out hypervolt hyper ice for sending the hypervolt go if you guys don't know what this is you're probably like what the heck is that i'm so confused basically it's just like a massage gun that might not be like the technical name for it but it helps so much here i'll show you literally right now that's how you turn it on there's a little button right there oh my god it like hurts so good like that type of thing <laughs> my poor quads but yeah you can do this on your back like everywhere it helps so much with muscle recovery how do i turn this one on okay there we go um but yeah max actually has the original like the bigger one the go i think is like the smaller sort of like travel size one you can throw in your bag but he's always been obsessed obviously like being a hockey player um just with like muscle recovery soreness everything like that it helps so much and i would always use it i feel like honestly to be very honest i work out less than like i used to when we first started dating i feel like just with classes in person everything like that i was going to seoul and like yoga classes that type of stuff all the time and I remember being sore all the time in Boston so I'd always use his and it was really helpful but yeah and nonetheless this is still so helpful with like muscle recovery and I can't believe they sent this over so thank you shout out Hypervolt they're amazing and it's funny if you guys saw my Instagram story the other day when this came I posted I was like keep on manifesting people because it was like over two years ago and I was posting Instagram stories I think it was me and Matt using it and us like screaming because if you have really sore muscles and you use this it's like oh my gosh but it's like that same like do you guys know what i mean like if you have sore muscles and you get a massage or like use the hypervolt or a theragun i know is similar um i feel like they're all very similar but it's like the hurt so good type of thing and it just helps your muscles a lot but anyway we like posted instagram stories of it for fun and i was like at hypervolt like sponsor us and then they like sent this over so i'm like we manifested this but yeah love this max has already stole it and is like throwing it in his bag for when he has away games so he can like bring it on the bus and whatever so yeah this is really fun a little perk of being a youtuber i suppose okay last pr i thought this was so funny when this showed up i was like are you kidding me so this is from crest they said that they saw i wanted to try the whitening emulsions and i did because my friend brooke Mitchell, you guys probably know her on youtube and instagram i think she posted was it instagram stories about her I, it was definitely a tiktok i know she posted about it and i think i commented on the tiktok and i'm like oh my gosh i need to try those and so i think crest definitely saw my comment on her tiktok and then like sent them to me which is just so funny Thanks, Crest. But yeah, I'm so excited because I really did want to try them. Brooke was like raving about them. And look at how fancy. Oh, these must have got moved around. But like how fun is this? Hey. Um, this is actually the toothpaste that Max and I use. So he was like, oh sweet, we have to like buy new toothpaste all the time. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I don't use, like side note, I digress. I feel like I don't use that much toothpaste when I'm brushing my teeth, just like a little pea size, two peas maybe. Max uses so much gosh dang toothpaste. Like I feel like we were buying toothpaste every week because he goes through it so quick. But anyway, we always use the Crest 3D white. So he's like, yeah, one less toothpaste we have to buy. This looks fun, toothbrush, and then here, is what I wanted to try from Brooke. She was like raving about it. And I think she was telling me how, maybe she just said this on the TikTok. I can't like differentiate what we talk about in like our text messages or like FaceTimes and then what I'm just seeing on her TikTok or like social media. And I think she was telling me that this doesn't make your teeth sensitive, which is what I'm like most excited about. Because I remember so 
clearly it was like my sophomore year junior year at bu and i think they were crest they have to they had to have been like crest white strips buying them and because i always wanted my teeth obviously to be right and white and i think when we would do a lot of like sorority date parties and things like that i just remember i like really wanted to have really white teeth and i feel like my teeth like naturally are pretty white well i guess it's not naturally because like i said i always use the crest 3d white toothpaste not sponsored i've just always bought that one because i wanted whiter teeth obviously and so i think i have pretty like white teeth as it is i feel like they look so white right now because i've always used that toothpaste but yeah i was just like obsessed with having white teeth so i have teeth so what i'm trying to say is i would use the white stripes from crest in college but i remember them making my teeth so sensitive and i've never had like sensitive teeth like i would like bite into ice cream or like i don't know i've never had to use like sensitive toothpaste stuff like that but using these white strips made my teeth so sensitive i remember if i would like drink water they would kill or when i really like had to stop and i realized it was too much i would wake up in the middle of the night from like my teeth aching like it would wake me up in the night because I was using these white strips way too much. Maybe I was using it like not like too much, like not how it's recommended or something. But anyway, the reason I'm going to try this is because Brooke was saying that it's there's no like sensitivity like the other one. So keep you guys updated. Okay, last thing. I want your guys' opinion on humidifiers. Like I really need your comments, so please comment down below because I found this one at Target. Um, I don't know if I've like talked about this in my vlogs. I don't think so. Maybe I have like briefly, but moving here to Pennsylvania, I don't know if it's like Pennsylvania in general I would assume it's just like Allentown or maybe even our building our apartment in specific but it is so dry you guys whoa you can see the mist coming out of the humidifier <laughs> this is kind of like when I do my facial steamer and I'm like <laughs> but um anyway it's been so dry ever since we moved in I feel like I definitely noticed a difference with my skin and my hair too it's just really dry here and then I, I thought I was like crazy I'm like maybe it's just me like I've never had a humidifier do I need one but then when Max's hockey season started and I met all of his teammates wives and girlfriends everything like that they were like oh my gosh it's so dang dry here my skin is so dry I don't do my hair and then one of them was like you need to get a humidifier it's so helpful so I bought this humidifier at Target the other day and basically I just got suckered into getting the like more expensive one because I like that it had this light you could it could like change colors like at night well make it so it changes color. whatever basically I was like this will be great it kind of comes out of two different directions you can like change like which way it comes out I don't know but I want your guys opinions do humidifiers actually do anything or it, has it been doing things, but I'm just not realizing? Like, we have it on kind of, like, all day. Is that not right? I just, like, need your guys' opinions and thoughts on this. Do you have humidifiers? Do you like it? Is maybe our humidifier not, like, the right kind? I don't know. I mean, I, I, I could probably just Google this, but I always just ask you guys because you're, like, my friends. So, any opinions? Any thoughts? Is this doing anything? I mean, I'm sure it's making our apartment more humid and less dry, I would guess. Is there any way I can, like, measure the humidity of the air? Like, is there, like, a thermometer? Or, like, a way I can do that? I don't know basically we've just had this going all the time and I guess one thing maybe that I've noticed unless it's just in my head is that like right as we got it I feel like Max and I a common thing at night is we would be like wow we're feeling so like dry like our throats or like we would get like stuffy that kind of thing and I feel like honestly yeah the more I think about it at uh, nighttime I'm not as stuffy like when I'd be getting in bed late I feel like my nose would be stuffy I'd always be congested I'd have like a dry kind of sore throat like a lot of times now I feel like that doesn't happen as much or is that just because it's like less cold out outside and dry in general and it's becoming like bring I don't know um but yeah that's my spiel on humidifiers because I've been meaning to tell you guys about it and ask your opinions on is it a sham does it do anything I mean I'm sure it's not because I remember having one when I was like a little kid like I feel like you have them in like a little kid's room or a baby's room right <laughs> It's crazy how much I feel like I don't know at 24 years old. Like, I always thought when I was younger, like, wow, at 24, I'll be, like, have, like, it sounded so old. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, I'm going to be, like, married with children and a grown-up with a career and a home and, like, all this stuff. And then I just feel like every age in life that you once thought you knew what it was going to be like, like, you get there and you're like, wait, but I feel the same as I did, like, 10 years ago. Growing up is so weird. It kind of sucks. <laughs> Anyway, I need to stop being like existential over here. Um, I guess I'll just end off the vlog here. Sorry, this one's like shorter, but I just wanted it to be a little celebration, obviously, of Max. He seemed like underwhelmed yesterday. <laughs> or, like, maybe that's just me on my period talking and I'm like, can you be more excited, please? But no, he obviously loved the cookies and he was like so happy that I cooked dinner because I feel like he cooks way more than I do because I always just end up like busy or tied up with something or like 
like editing YouTube video or whatever since I work all day long because I can like I just feel like it never ends since I work from home anyway I feel like he has more free time and will like cook more so yeah that was like out of the ordinary that I cooked that big dinner because normally it's him doing it <laughs> but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and I'll catch you in my next one